Welcome to Resolution Farming. Today's tutorial focuses on the map editor function of our software. This video will explain how to create new paddocks as well as edit existing ones, ensuring that your farm map is relevant and up to date. It's important to differentiate the map editor function from our new map layering tool. Keep an eye out for this upcoming tutorial video on our YouTube channel. As map editor is an extremely sensitive function, it should solely be reserved for farm owners or managers. Changes can only be made by those who have the manage permission. Details on how to view and edit these permissions may be found in our settings video as shown here. Although we do allow you to change your base map on your phone, we strongly urge you to do major changes on the web version back at home. To find the map editor, click on More at the top right of your screen, then select Settings. After this, hit Farm Configuration. Select your farm. I'm going into Resolution Demo. And then, from here, select Map Editor from the drop-down menu. And finally, click on the blue toggle to view changes and edit your map. You will find the history of your map edits along the left of your screen. As we go through editing our map, each session will save a new, updated version of our base map to the cloud. As you work on your map, even if you exit out of resolution, all of your changes will be saved as a draft session. None of your work is ever lost, avoiding wasted time. To make edits to our map, hit Update Map at the top of your map editor log. You will be prompted to label your map change with a title and add any additional notes. You may just leave this as today's date or include an explanation of what you're going to do. Today our changes are going to be based around crops for the 2021 season. Hit the blue toggle next to begin making changes to your farm map. As you can see here, we're making changes to an existing map, but for many of our new users, you will be building a new farm map from scratch. First of all, we're going to adjust the zoom level of our map. This is what your farm users will see alongside their timeline when they log in. In the box to the right, hit Edit Settings and then select Set Starting Center and Zoom. From here, recenter your map and zoom in and out until you reach your desired base position. We can also choose at what zoom level our map labels appear by clicking Set Label Minimum Zoom. Adjust this accordingly to maximise the clarity and usability of your farm map. Hit Save and this will become your new base viewing setting of your map. Next, we're going to create a new paddock. Obviously for new users, you will be drawing this initial paddock from scratch. To begin, click on the blue toggle at the bottom of the screen. There are two key shortcuts on your keyboard that you can use to ensure accuracy and minimise errors in your drawing. The first is Shift, which automatically snaps to the strainer post of a paddock. Here, I'm going to use this Shift function to find the first two points of my new paddock. So by holding down Shift on my keypad and then clicking near the corner, you can see how this automatically snaps to the strainer post of the existing paddock. For my third point, we're going to use our second function. This is the control button on your keyboard. By holding down the control button on my keyboard and then clicking near the map, it automatically snaps to the fence line. And by holding our mouse button down, we can drag this point along the existing fence line to where we want it simply release the control button and our mouse to set it. I'm going to click on my map directly to set my fourth point and then to complete our paddock, click on my initial point. Now we can add the relevant information of our new paddock. First of all, let's name our paddock. This one will be called Demo1. Then we have the option to select a colour from the drop down menu. You can choose whatever colour code scheme works for you, but a general one that we find works for many of our users is darker green, 
Nebraska, light green, new grass, purple, hill country, red, lucerne, yellow, fodder beet, brown, native. This paddock is going to be lucerne, so we would select red for its colour. Our mapping software will automatically generate a total area for the paddock, but we also have a space for you to add in the effective area. Hit save and your new paddock will appear on your draft. Now we're going to edit an existing paddock. This time I hit the edit toggle. Click on any paddock on the map to edit its boundaries, labels or colour. Today I'm going to change the boundaries of our new 2 paddock. Now I can adjust the boundary points of my paddock according to the current changes on our farm. Once again by using the shift button on my keyboard to find the strainer and then the control button to snap to our fence line. From here I can also drag my paddock name to recenter it on the map. Hit finish drawing and add your relevant details before clicking save and your updated paddock is finished. Now the paddock adjacent to New 2, South Cow, has just been put into new grass. So I would go into this, hit finish drawing as I'm not making any changes there, and then update the colour of the paddock into light green. Once again, hit save and the paddock is updated. I've recently split one of my paddock's tiles, so I'm now going to do this in Map Editor. Using the control function on my keyboard to snap to the fence and then directly manipulating my other points on the map hit finish drawing and again recenter your paddock name and add your other relevant detail. I then need to create a new paddock as demonstrated earlier. During all of these edits simply double click any time to delete a mistake that you might have made. There are a few final checks that the software will run. These are to proof against errors such as overlapping paddock boundaries or paddock labels. For explanation's sake, I'm going to overlap the boundaries of the paddock we have just split. When I hit validate and commit, you can see that it appears with two errors in red while the rest of our map is green. This is where the snapping functions using control and shift come in really helpful. Now, using these two functions to ensure all paddock lines are accurate, I'll fix this error and recenter my label. when I hit validate and commit. You can see our entire map is green. No validation errors, ready to commit. Awesome. Now when I hit commit, I have my new updated base farm map for all users to see when they log into resolution. Thanks for watching and we hope you found this video useful. If you have, flick us a like or drop a comment down below. To keep up to date with news and new videos, be sure to follow us on our Facebook page and turn post notifications on. As well as subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure that you don't miss our new upcoming map layering video. To get in touch, visit our website or contact us directly at support at resolutionapp.co.nz.